Well, good day, amazing uh, billion dollar mind community. And for those of you that are visiting with us uh, for this transformational nugget uh, sponsored by the billion dollar mind, uh, we like to start all of our uh, BDM billion dollar mind nuggets with something that's nice and picturesque designed to get you to dream again, take those dreams off the shelf and blow off the dust. So in today's billion dollar mind nugget, we're going to focus on the power of gratitude. So let's go to work. By the way, hopefully you enjoyed your quick mental vacation break. We were in Bora Bora uh, just a few moments ago. Okay, so billion dollar mind, um, there are four pillars that we focus on. And we're so grateful to our uh, our, our lead mentor uh, inside of Billion Dollar Mind, John, uh, these four pillars were really revealed to him um, by the Almighty, the Most High. Now, these four pillars, one is gratitude. And we're going to talk about gratitude in today's transformational nugget. Number two is vision. Vision is the blueprint, ladies and gentlemen. This is where we get to design the lives that we want to live and the lives that we deserve. Number three is surrounding ourselves with the feeling. All right. So one is gratitude. Two is vision, which is the blueprint. Three is feeling. We want to surround ourselves. We want to take moments every day, multiple moments throughout the day, where we're surrounding ourselves with the feeling of what it must be like, what it must feel like once we attain the vision that we have set forth. And then number four is affirmation. It is affirming. It is making firm that which was not firm by being grateful, being in gratitude, by having a vision and making it plain, by surrounding ourselves with the feeling of what it will feel like once it is actually accomplished and now affirming, calling those things that are not as though they were. Now, let's focus today on gratitude, or as John often says, great attitude. Gratitude is great attitude. And here you see some other synonyms for gratitude, like gratefulness. Now think this through. Gratefulness, being full of greatness, or honor, or love, or thankfulness, or recognition, or awareness. You see, folks, we believe that as we begin to understand these four pillars of faith and apply them to every area of our lives, John likes to refer to it as frequency. We will raise our frequencies. I like to refer to it as God energy, where we are actually walking out our godness. This is how Zig Ziglar put it. He says, your attitude not your aptitude, will determine your altitude. Your attitude, not your aptitude, will determine your altitude. Now, I want to go, I'll often say this, I want to go to the book. I want to go to the, the chief success manual, okay? Uh, I want to go to the scriptures, and I want to show you something, and this is something that particularly when I'm dealing with uh, maybe a mindset or I'm having uh, um, uh, thoughts that are intruding that's trying to take me out of gratitude. Because look again, gratitude, look at what it ushers in. Honor, full of greatness, gratefulness, uh, giving, recognition, affection, admiration, happiness. We'll even share in some of these nuggets uh, uh, how gratitude seems to usher in things like peace. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to a, uh, a couple verses of Scripture that have gotten me through some of the toughest uh, uh, challenges in life. Uh, I'm a widower. Um, my wife, my lovely uh, beloved wife, who's no longer with us on this side, 
um, uh, suffered from kidney disease for six years, uh, five and a half years, um, and uh, ultimately she transitioned on. But what I'm about to share are some key scriptures that got me through. And I'm a living witness that gratitude, gratitude will completely change one's attitude. So let's go to the book. Okay, so I am in Psalms 139. I'm using um, New Living Translation uh, to share this. I will flip over also to, to the Amplified Version as well. Look at what um, David the psalmist says. He says, O oh Lord, you have examined my heart. You know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up, you know my thoughts even when I'm far away. Let's go to the Amplified Version real quickly uh, with that second verse. It says, you know when I sit down and when I rise up, my entire life, everything I do, you understand my thought afar off. Back to New Living Translation. You see me when I travel, when I rest at home, you know everything I do. You know what I'm going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me. I love this one. You go before me and follow me. You go before me and follow me. You're there to pick me up when I mess it up. You're following me. You're walking out my path. You go before me. You know I'm going to mess it up from time to time. All right. So you follow me to pick me up and dust me off. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Let's go down to verse 16. Powerful. And this is what helps keep me or at least get me back into. I have intrusive thoughts just like everyone else. Uh, thoughts of uh, ego, edging God out, the, the negative stuff. But when I find myself dealing and battling with those intrusive thoughts, I want to quickly get back into gratitude. And this is one of the scriptures that I use to get back into gratitude. Look at this, verse 16. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. And I love this. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God? They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. Folks, that's gratitude. That's great attitude. If indeed the Almighty, if indeed God knew everything that was ever going to happen before we even got here, that every step, every uh, a great thing we would do, every mistake that we would do, every uh, great thing that would happen, the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, that everything had already been walked out. Then when things happen, let me just be in gratitude. I may not see it. I may not get it right then, but I'm just going to trust and I'm going to believe that all things work together for my good. And so here's what I want to challenge you to do as you go throughout this day and the rest of our lives. Let's operate in gratitude. Let's operate in thank you. Let's operate in honor. Let's operate in love. Let's operate in admiration. Let's operate in thanksgiving. Let's operate in gratefulness, full of greatness. Let's operate from a place of gratitude, great attitude. Ladies and gentlemen, if this transformational nugget has touched, moved, and inspired you, we ask that you share this nugget with others. We also invite you to come on our BDM, our Billion Dollar Mind seminars, our Zoom seminars, where you will get this type of content. You'll connect with other members of our mastermind as we are all looking to become the best versions of ourselves and to completely 
and utterly transform who we know ourselves to be so that we can be the person that we want to be. We can be doing the things that we want to be doing and we can start living the lives that we want to start living. By the way, don't forget to ask the person that sent you this transformational nugget about our optional financial transformational model. So if you're looking to generate a few hundreds of dollars extra per month, maybe a few thousands of dollars extra per month, perhaps even a complete total financial lifestyle change, you'll want to find out a little more about that as well. Until our next transformational nugget, let's transform this world together, starting with mine and starting with yours. 